Welcome back to Let's Play the Legendary Starfy! Up, Starfy! We have a giant squid to down! And now he's back and he has pearls inside of him. I want pearl. I'll let you live for now. Now then, the way we are kind of supposed to be going. Out of the way. More pearls. More saving. More boss fight. Ah, Starly. Puff Top's a disaster. It must have been those bad people that came by for Bunston. <laughs> it is a great idea, Mo. That's why we're doing it. Any idea that involves saving people is a great idea. Alright then, Starly. You can keep track of the castle. Now, these are the levels that showed both Starfy and Starly. If you look for Mo in these levels, he'll let you call upon Starly to play as player number two. However, we can't, so we won't be seeing that in this game. I'd draft Ogre into it if at all possible, but again, impossible! Boss! Big Squiddy! Not exactly the hardest boss in the world. You spin into his fins. And don't get hit by the bouldery drops. That's really the hardest part of the entire battle. Oh, I missed. Smash! Big Squiddy down! Yes, that was the first boss. But it was the first boss, so it's understandably easy. I love the sound effects in this game. Shabam! Like it's that impressive. And gluing themselves together is a perfect analogy, Mo. Hacha Springs, where old man lobster awaits. Personally, I'd think a lobster wouldn't like hot water. But whatever. And with that, we've unlocked the second world! Hacha Springs! But first, back in Glug Glug Lagoon... We unlocked us... Secret number three! Alright, Monstar! I breathe fire at you! Technically, it keeps burning. I don't have to keep breathing fire, but it looks impressive, so I'm going to. I don't even have to try! Whee! Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I had to do that. Anything back this way? Nope! ha <laughs> Maybe I should keep the fire near the ground where it can actually hit enemies. Wow, 
Oh, look at all of them girls. Whee! I fall. There is treasure afoot. I saw it. Now the question is how to get to it. Three-hit combo! Maybe I go this way to get to it. Aha! This is looking promising. Whee! You can duck in the game, and if you're running while you duck, you slide. You can't keep moving, though. So long stretches you can't get through. And we got some of Bunston's journal. Wee, wee. Now there's two treasure chests in this area, told to me by the world map. So we just have to find them. Wee. A flying catfish. You are weird. And I failed at that jump completely. Now, I don't have all the time in the world in this video, so I'm really hoping that I can finish off this extra stage, but I won't guarantee anything! There's treasure chest afoot! Whee! Not what I was hoping for, but that works! Now, where might this treasure chest be? Ah, here we are. I can sense it is. It is close. There is also Pearl to the right. Or left. Or whatever. That's a treasure chest right there! A heart gem! A heart gem works like one of the heart, piece can heart pieces in Zelda. If you collect three of them, as told on Bunston's screen... Your heart gauge increases! We have five hearts now, that would give us six! Whee! And that would be the end of the level! Cleared! So onwards then to Hacha Springs! 2-1 between a rock? Until next time, everyone!